guys and welcome to another video. Today's video is a highly requested one. Can, like, I mean, I cannot even state enough how, like every video I post, basically you guys ask me for an updated handbag collection. And I do understand that because I do tend to rotate my bags a lot. I get a few new ones and then I do kind of get rid of the ones that I do not wear. For you guys who are new, hi, my name is Tamara and I love filming videos about lifestyle, luxury, fashion, beauty, especially holes and handbags. If they're from Hermes or Chanel, even better so. If you're new to the channel, it would mean the world to me if you would subscribe so we can become YouTube friends. But yeah, for you guys who know me, I'm just gonna start into it. All the bags that you don't see in this video that are different from the last year collection means that I have most likely sold on my Depop account or I'm in the process of selling. We are donating all the proceeds of the items that I do not wear anymore to children in need. We kind of like alternate between different charities for children but we always make sure to donate it because that is something very important to me. I'm gonna start with Hermes because I think there's the most novelties in Hermes from last year too now. Last January I got my first ever Kelly bag and I got this beautiful uh, Kelly Cellier Epson leather, there we go, with golden hardware in green cactus and I really love this. This made me really fall in love with Epson leather and also I really love the Cellier style. This is the only Kelly that I own but hopefully that will change soon. Right after her I got my first Birkin and this was the Birkin 25, this is Togo leather in rose pourpre something like that. Uh, I love this one, it's with silver hardware, it's a perfect summer companion but actually I wear this bag a lot during the winter months too. In 2018 I managed to get also a beautiful little Constance handbag. Now this was not my first Constance because I got I think in 2016 a like a vintage one. Obviously you can see the difference. This is also Epsom leather. This is very 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 smooth and it's also um quite a vintage and quite a larger one. So I've got two Constance handbags. This one I don't really wear as much anymore but since it's my first ever Hermes bag I feel like I just cannot get rid of it. The last bag in my Hermes collection is a beautiful Birkin 35 in geranium or geranium. I don't know, different people tell me differently. So I asked you guys and a lot of you told me it's geranium and then some people told me it's geranium and then even some people told me it's heranium. So I don't know, but it's the flower, like the flower, you know? In Serbian we would say geranium, but then I guess in English we would say geranium. Would we? I don't know. You guys let me know. It's the most stunning red color I have ever seen. I have even written a blog post about this bag because this was the first Birkin that I got in London store. I love it so much. I thought 35 would be too big for me, but oh boy, no. It's just perfect. I love wearing it. I wore it already way more than I thought I would, and it's just like a perfect travel companion. How many boys does one need? More can, helping, less commenting Can on. one ever have enough boys? One cannot have enough boys, but from your experience I have learned that only one good one is enough. Actually you have two. Actually you have three boys. I have so, three boys. So why are you even commenting? You still have more. Usually I would always start with Chanel. Chanel is my favorite. Is it? I mean like, okay, Aramis is really like a, like you know, it's just there, it's there. But guys, I think the most handbags I have are from Chanel and I'm gonna go straight into it. I don't know in which order, I'm a bit like, Urgh. okay, the one that you guys apparently go to Chanel store with my picture is the Chanel 19, this beautiful tweed one. I got it in September 2019 in Paris. As soon as it came out, I was like, this has to be mine. I'm actually sad I didn't get the other one as well, the Hunstut one. But boy, how much I love this bag and how many times I have worn it. From the most worn Chanel bags, the other one would definitely have to be my Deville. Is it a little bit dirty? I think it's... No, no, it's not. Okay. It's just cuffed because... Mm, I don't know. I have taken it to dry cleaning. This one cleans so well. It cleans so easy. It's my ultimate travel or beach bag or whenever I need to carry a lot of stuff bag. It fits so much. It has shoulder kind of straps. It's perfection. And it just dry cleans like a dream. Then it comes back new, even though it has these leather straps, it's so easy to clean, even with wet wipes. I have worn this one a lot, I'll insert some pictures so you guys can have a look. 
I even got at some point a DeVille backpack, but I just have not worn it that much. So at the moment we are selling that one. However, I might get another DeVille tote because I love it so much. One that became very internet popular also was like my little prize after fashion week is this Chanel Pelly bag. I love this cutie. It's just a little bit too small because I am a big girl height wise, I guess, in a way, not too tall, but you know, kind of like, I don't really wear many, many, many small bags, but I love this one, Pearly Chanel, beautiful bag. When it comes to these kind of like more limited edition ones, I also have this beautiful, beautiful Camellia handbag. I love this. I cannot get rid of it, even though I do not wear it a lot at all. It has this back pocket. It's so beautiful. It's a perfect summer bag. I just wish I wore it a little bit more. A bag that I have worn a lot is this beautiful uh, CC Trendy. Now this bag I adore. I got this in old, mm, June 2018. I really wanted it. It was between this color and the mint green and I'm very happy that I got a beautiful gray. This is the larger side with um, champagne hardware. I really really love it. I've worn it so much and I love the chevron. Chevron for me is when it comes to Chanel favorite that my coco handle is in white chevron also one of my most worn chanel bags i love this one so much it's so easy to travel with what's this in the back pocket okay it's my key from amsterdam hotel um i love this bag so much it fits a perfect amount and it's just so beautiful to wear like constantly i love it like this is one of the best purchases. I got it in New York in December 2018. A bag I did wish I wear a bit more is my uh, Gabrielle. I love it. It's one of the classic kind of Chanel bags and I got mine in tweed because I think the tweed is just from Chanel. There's no better. Like what can be better than Chanel tweed? Guys, you tell me. I love this bag so much and I am going to wear it more, especially now during winter. From the classic Chanel bags I have, this is the one I wore the most. This is a little bit more on the vintage side. I got this from uh, What Goes Around Comes Around. Beautiful pink caviar, uh, classic flap with golden hardware. I love it so much. It's so stunning, especially when you open it. Honestly, like, I have no words. I love it. I also have it in green with like a gun metal hardware. I think it's called something like that, right? So these would be my classic flaps. Now, as my sister said, she thinks I have too many boys and this is like a joke we always, always, always mention. Let's start with the beginning. This was my first boy. This is like a beautiful lambskin black gold hardware. This is like the older version of the boy. The second boy that I got was a smaller boy in a stunning beige color and silver-ish hardware. Love it so much. I wore this one quite a lot. And then the last boy I got was this one over here, which I love. It's pretty expensive because of the chevron and the pleating, but I love this blue color. I think it's so stunning. It's a beautiful bag. I wore it heaps and heaps in 2018 and 2019 and I'm hoping to wear it even more in 2020. This goes so well with denim and with a lot of my summer dresses. It's like a very universal bag. One of the bags that I don't wear so much anymore is a Chanel wallet on a chain. I've had this for around 4 or 5 years. This is the boy version of a Chanel wallet on a chain. Beautiful smooth turquoise color. I think this would be very nice for summer. And talking about summer, I have another bag to show you which is this one of the latest Chanel handbags that I got, I think. Just before Chanel 19, I got this one, and this is an ideal summer bag. It has this sand inside, and if you guys have been following me for a while, then you probably know how hard I searched for the one with the pearly top, which is this. I basically really wanted the one with the pearls, and I'm so happy I waited for it. Okay, guys, next is going to be Maison Christian Dior. I honestly am such a fan of Dior and I have most of the bag from Maria Grazia era. Just to be honest, like when I fall in love with a Dior bag, it's like a mon dieu moment. So I'm going to start with one of the most worn ones, which is the book tote. Oops. Okay. So I got the burgundy oblique book tote. It's full of stuff because I traveled with it to Paris for Haute Couture and this is what it looks on the other side. This literally fits everything you can ever imagine in your life like it's the bag like bottomless bag i would always recommend it i love it so so much and 
it's just something that it, like really 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 paid off I have well one and a half Montan bags so 30 Montan is the kind of like latest release from Dior I have it in this beautiful beautiful kind of like a nude beige color I love this bag I actually do wear it a lot and a lot more than I thought I would but I love the kind of like there's nothing inside <laughs> I don't know why I opened it. I love the new logo so much that then ended up buying it in the box Montan version. I think this is so cute. It's adorable. Look at the size. This is how much it fits. There's a back pocket. I have done a special haul with this. Actually, with most of these bags so you guys can see it. I love this. I bought it in, I think, December or November 2019 and cannot wait to wear it a little bit more. One of the oldest Dior bags that I have over here would be the Dior Revolution, this kind of like Lady Dior. This is one of the softer ones. I wore this so much. I don't wear this anymore lately, but I do have three Lady Dior bags. So I have the tiny pink version, and then I have the largest version. This is like old classic collection in gray. You can see it here. I do love this one as well a lot and I wear it a lot with like more casual outfits. I think this is classic. I mean Lady Dior can never be not classic. A few more Dior handbags. Also one of the oldest ones. I don't know which one's older. This one or the Dior Evolution. This is the Diorama bag in a beautiful light blue color. I bought this in Cannes Boutique. It was a kind of like one of the first purchases with my like influencer made money and it was quite a while ago and I remember the day so well I love this bag I will never get rid of it even though this particular style might not be so trendy I think I'm okay I love it and um, it was actually later on surpassed by this beauty that I like fell in love the moment I saw it I was like I need to have this bag in my life followed by the similar version of it in orange this one's very flexible soft and easy to pack so I don't have to be too worried about the leather but last and not the least for sure Dior bag that I have to show you is going to be my Dior saddle in oblique I love this bag so much no matter what no matter the fact that it does not fit that much I love my saddle it just will forever remind me of the times when my sister fell in love with the Galliano version of this I think this is so stunning and I'm so happy to be carrying this bag in 2020 and ladies and gentlemen we now come to one of my absolute favorite did I say this for every brand of the last four this is really tricky okay Louis Vuitton this is the brand of the first ever handbag that I purchased with my own money I remember exactly that it was 450 euros those were the good golden times this bag is very old I remember because I had 500 euros that I saved up and the bag was like 450 and I was like I'm only left with 50 euros and that's it but never regretted it I still wear this bag I still wear this bag at the beach but I wear it and I mean like if that's not incredible it's like 10 years later or something like that and I still wear this bag and I still love it so much and I would never ever ever change this for anything else as my first designer bag lately I got quite a few more designer Louis Vuitton bags I just want to show you one more older one which is Louis Vuitton Alma in Amaran. It's like a beautiful kind of cherry, deep cherry color. This one I received from my sister as a graduation gift because I really wanted it. I wanted it so badly, but it was like crazy out of my budget as a student. And she gave it to me because she loves me and I love her too. I, I will of course keep this forever and ever and ever and ever. Okay guys, let's continue with the newer bags. I have to say that I do work with Louis Vuitton quite a bit and over the last few seasons I managed to see a lot of beautiful new releases. I purchased this bag over here a little while back and this is a beautiful twist bag in a larger larger size. Larger size is much better for me because it fits a lot more. Silver hardware, pink ballerina with a beautiful yellow stitching. I remember when I was buying it I was like yellow stitching why? But actually I love the contrast now. I think it's incredible. Right after I managed to get my hands on Palm Springs uh, backpack. Apparently it was sold out everywhere. I just walked in the boutique in Valencia and they had it in stock and I was like of course I'm gonna get it. Similarly, but reverse monogram, was the Khan bag. I got this last January, so I've had it for a year. I worn it so much. There was a waiting list for it, but the lady in Saint Germain Boutique, I think her name was Jessica, so kindly decided to sell it for, to me. So I was very, very happy. I actually worn it this week. I love this bag. 
love it. Another top handle that I have from Vuitton is this one over here. I wish I wore this bag more. It just doesn't fit a whole lot. It has that mirror at the back. It's kind of like a vanity case type of a bag. A top handle, beautiful French Riviera style. Verni, as you can see, I think it's stunning. I just wish I wore it more. I also have a little wave from uh, Vuitton. I received this as a gift from the brand for my last birthday. Beautiful bag because I love the colorful rainbow letters on top here. It's really, really cute when worn crossbody. I just love it. It fits my phone a little bit more. It's for me an ideal, I would say, summer bag. And it's just very playful, you know, it's very very fun handbag to have. Another one that I adore and wear so much, you would have noticed, especially lately, is my Capucine. I honestly, I'm obsessed. I went with Louis Vuitton to Anier and, and that was after Couture in July, I believe. Um, I received this bag as a gift and honestly, like ever since I worn it, at first I like I didn't get used to it right away. It took me some time, you know, it took me time to get used to the bag, the shape, the style. Now I have worn it so much. It's a perfect red color. It adds incredible pop of red to my looks and I really, really love it. I wear it so much, so, so, so much. I even wrote blog posts about it. One of my first big Louis Vuitton purchases was Petit Mal. I remember when I was buying it, I was like, it was almost like a little bit difficult to separate for from like 4,500 pounds or something like that because it's so much money. But this was very long ago now that I got it. It was actually just after they released a slightly larger size of Petit Mal and I filmed a whole video dedicated to it. I love this bag. I would buy it again. I actually now very frequently wear it with the shoulder strap for my multi-pochette accessories which I think if I had to choose just one bag from Louis Vuitton this would be the one. This is the kind of bag you either are absolutely obsessed with chasing it around the world or you're like I don't get it but honestly I'm so obsessed with it that if I would lose it today I would try and buy it tomorrow. I know it's so sold out so it's probably impossible but I love it. You get like three bags in one because you can separate these little pochettes, money and lip balm coming out. I think this is so stunning and I never ever ever travel without this bag. So if I had like 100 trips last year overall with car, train, whatever, this would have always come with me. Well actually I only got it in September, but you know what I mean. I never travel with this bag. And another bag that I love traveling with would be my beloved on the go in rainbow colors. Now, after I've shown you guys this bag, so many of you told me that you're trying to get it, that it's so sold out. Some of you even told me that you really tried hard with sales associate that you kept calling, and some of you even got a little bit aggressive. I don't advise you to do that, but this bag is really worth it. I love it. Every time I wear it, I get so many compliments. People adore this bag. I adore this bag. I love it. And it's just so fun and mm, I love it. Now let's talk about Bulgari. My love for Bulgari Serpenti started like four or five years ago when my friend Sandra and I were browsing at their boutique at Terminal 3 at the airport Heathrow and I will never forget that she was telling me she was gonna buy a deep green color and I can still envisage it in my head like so much it's so beautiful I got my first Bulgari in metallic navy this was the Serpenti that I got first followed by a beautiful silver one but I really love this and I wanted it a lot throughout the summers but I really wanted a bigger size the one that gets me the most envy every time I wear it is this beautiful mustard uh, Serpenti in a slightly larger size. Oh, how much I love, love, love this bag. I love it so much. I think it's so beautiful with a beautiful snake's head. And then the one that I really cannot wait to show you is the one that my mom said, when you get bored of it, you know where I live. Incredible Python one. Now, I don't own many bags in exotic leathers because, well, for many reasons, but this is just spectacular, right? If I would just like be able to show you as much as the light permits me, but this is so stunning. It has a bit of like a 
shadow in the front and then the head is glittery and then it's so beautifully divided inside. I'm almost like a little bit scared to wear this bag because it's so precious. I actually got another a kind of like a python version of the bag and this is the bucket Bulgari bag, one of the latest ones. And I think of all the ones I own, I wear this the most. I often carry this with me because this is a perfect evening bag. It also has a shoulder strap and I love it. Then a limited edition little Serpenti over here. This is the actually latest one of all the ones I own. I got this one in 2019 as well as the Funny Pack, which is the Serpenti Funny Pack in color red. But this is not just Funny Pack. You can wear it as a shoulder bag or you can wear it around your waist. And I won this a lot at Coachella in April 2019. So a beautiful bag. There's like few brands that I have like a few off, but I wanted to show you my little mini Jacquemus bags. I got a pink one and I got a black one. Oh boy, there was a whole commotion when I told you that in 2020 tiny bags are not gonna be a trend anymore. And I've even explained it in this video and I'm gonna explain it again now. Big bags are going to be coming back and tiny bags are still gonna be around. No one's gonna kick them out because they've produced them, but they're not gonna be as big trend as they were in 2020. I think 2020 this was such a hit. You know, this was like, you know, it's not gonna be anymore. They'll be like cute as even smaller ones as chains on the bag. So I have one of the boy London versions. Um, they will be very cute as keychains or as multi bags, but they're not gonna be like a massive, surprise effect. From Roger Vivier I have a beautiful little bucket bag. Bucket bag? Bucket bag. Bucket. Bucket bag. A bucket. This can be worn as an evening bag. It has R and B. I mean Gerardo, the creative director, just makes the best bags ever. I love him so much. He's so creative. And this is the chain that it comes with. This blue color is so stunning. I would love this in every color. Isn't this just beautiful? Especially if your initials are R and B. I'm sure there's someone in this world who has these initials, like, for sure. I have one bag from Etro, and so many of you loved this one after I unboxed it during Vlogmas. I got, got this gifted from the brand, and it has a Jerry here and Jerry here. I already worn it around London. I love how it fits like a cute amount of things and it's just such a little bag that brings me back to my best childhood days. I have one bag from Balmain. This is very heavy, you guys, but it's really like a specific bag, kind of evening, cool, edgy, even a little bit. It has like a really random back pocket, then has like a front pocket, and has a zippy compartment in which I keep a shoulder strap because it also comes with a shoulder strap. It's very cool. I don't have anything else shaped like this, but I mean Olivier just creates the most like incredible designs. Now, who would have said that we got to this point where I only own one Gucci bag? I wonder how many I owned in my previous handbag collection video. I think we would have to watch this to figure that out. But right now, I only got this Dionysus in like a velvet green color. I think it's a very beautiful bag. I worn it a lot, especially October, November last year. I think I will wear it a lot more this year. It opens like this. Have I got anything inside? It's like a blue satin inside and beautiful leather bag. I think it's stunning. I think this bag is just beautiful. Now, as we get in further, I left it till the end for the ones of you that might be really watching this video. So in the second half of this video, you will notice that there are some novelties, some new bags that I have not shown before. And if you're watching all the way till here, leave a comment of handbag emoji below. That would be interesting to see how many of you actually watch these videos till the end. But uh, you will be privileged because you will get to see some new bags and let's start with Fendi. One of the oldest Fendi handbags that I have is this Can I Great bag. Now I wore this quite a lot but I have really loved it, this bag and I really 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 cherished it but I'm thinking maybe it's time to replace it. Maybe it's time to get rid of it. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Should I keep it or should I maybe give it to some of you and we can put the proceeds for children in need, which would be beneficial for everybody. I do have a Can I bag that I love, 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 love so much. And it's this tiny little crystallized one. This is so beautiful. I really love it. I have worn this one quite a bit and I think it's a 
stunning decoration that looks like this earth. I have one that I've worn extremely much. This is the uh, peekaboo and this is extra light, like the light peekaboo. As you can see, it differentiates from the normal peekaboo in a way that um, the way it's made up around this area. So it doesn't just stand, it, the stitching is different. And it has the logo inside. I really, really like it. Obviously it's much better when it's full, but because it's a light version, I can't show it to you now that it's empty. The new Fendi in my collection, it's a stunning one and I really could not wait to show this to you. It's a beautiful light pink uh, baguette. I really love this and I'm so grateful to my Fendi family for this incredible, incredible baguette. I mean, guys, like, isn't this the most beautiful pink color? I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and link this one below for you to find because I think it's just so stunning and I'm so, so happy with it. I cannot wait to bring it with me for the fashion month. From Loewe, I have two bags to show you. This is one of uh, the first ones that I got in 2019. It's a straw bag that I've worn a lot, especially during summer months, because come on guys, it's a beach bag. Like where else would I wear this? I love this. This is so freaking cool. And inside of it, I have, again, a newest addition to my Loewe family. You might have noticed this during the Haute Couture vlog, and it is the puzzle bag in the beautiful nude and pink colors. Now, I got this uh, from Harvey Nichols. I really love this bag. I think it's beautiful. It has the Loewe logo here, and I just think it goes so well with all of my neutral outfits. I'm really obsessed with their bags. I actually should say that I already owned a puzzle bag before in a blue color, but it was a blue that just did not work with my wardrobe, so I don't have it anymore. Next, three bags that I'm gonna show you are from a brand that I love very, very much. It's a Bulgarian brand called By Far, and they make the most incredible, beautiful, kind of vintage type bags. The first one that I got from By Far is this one over here. This is amazing. I love this bag. This will come with me during Fashion Month because I just think this is such a beautiful bag. After that, I got this incredible, like, vintage looking kind of velvet, hot pink bag. Also, want to bring this with me for Fashion Month because I think what's more appropriate than this for a fashion month, but perhaps Paris or Milan because it'll be too cold in New York for this. And then the last one I got is this little cutie black and brown mix and it has like magnetic closure like this, very very easy, perhaps actually like this. And I just really like this baby as well, it kind of reminds me of those watering cans, right? Stunning. One of my oldest bag brand friend, I guess friend bag bag friend, I don't know what I'm talking about, but this is one of my oldest handbags that I have. It's Jimmy Choo Candy in white color. And I keep this bag because it's a perfect red carpet handbag, but also a perfect handbag for like summer. You just throw it in your bag, it fits... Oh God, what have I got inside? Basically it's a photo boot picture and I am embarrassed about the year of it. I have another candy bag, hopefully with less embarrassing content. Yes, thank God. This is like a beautiful sort of like an animal print glittery and it says Jimmy Choo all over. And my favorite Jimmy Choo bag of all time. I don't think they make this anymore. I think it was called Lock It Petit and it's just so stunning. I think this is a perfect handbag for snow slopes or beautiful like uh, winter experiences. I remember this bag was so expensive, but I've had this for so many years now that I don't rem even remember anymore how much it was. It has all of these little mirrors and like pony leather. I think it's a piece of art. Now, talking about white bags, I have one handbag from Marnie. It's a bucket bag. I love this bag. I want this bag a lot. Like really a lot a lot a lot i've had it for quite a few years as well and really like the handle i remember my friend vicky from vicky and the kid she has it as well in another color we were exchanging our opinions on how much we love this handbag i have one handbag from versace versace recently launched this beautiful new kind of like logo and the whole handbag range with this logo now this one comes also with a strap so that you can wear it as a fanny pack or you can wear it as a shoulder bag which makes it pretty convenient because you basically get two handbags in one i have to say that i've already worn not the fanny pack not the fanny pack who remembers when my sister got very angry about that gucci fanny pack well this one's better because this one can be worn as a shoulder bag 
And honestly, like, I love the chain. I love how beautiful it is. And it's a perfect evening bag, if you ask me. Talking about perfect evening bags, I have one, but with the silver hardware. Haven't worn it yet. It's very new. It still has a tag on. And it's from Marina Raphael. Marina is incredible. She's a friend of mine and she designs these incredible, incredible pieces of art. These are all like Swarovski crystal embellished and this is just so stunning. I will also wear this a lot during the fashion month. It's like a stunning piece of art. Love it. From Balenciaga, I have only one bag and I was contemplating on getting the hourglass bag because I think it's beautiful. I just wasn't sure if with my Chanel white um, cocoa handle, I needed the hourglass. So ended up not getting it. But this one was more than sufficient. I really love it. I worn it specifically during fashion month because it goes perfectly with my triple S sneakers. But overall, I think this bag is amazing. It always adds a perfect pop of color. We have two bags from Prada. This is a little like a little evening bag, I guess you can call it like a little sack bag, whatever. Has it got something inside? No. I want it quite a bit, but I have another bag from Prada, which is called Cahier. It's sort of like their older style bags, because now they came with Sidonie, which is the newer version. But I still love the Cahier. I think it's so beautiful. I just wish, again, I worn it a little bit more. I haven't worn it in a while now, ever since they came out with Sidonie. I haven't been wearing it much. But I do think it's a beautiful bag, especially in this green and gold color. Ooh, and I found a lip balm. Okay, so the tiny boy London bag that I was telling you about is over here. Like, look how small this is. Fits nothing, but this is not really a handbag. This is more like handbag charm for your handbag. And together, they always look very cute. Like, for example, if I would put it on the next handbag that I had to show you, which is Givenchy Antigona in burgundy color. Now, them two together could look cute. But imagine if I had a bigger version of the boy London bag and then the small. How cute would that be? Next, I've got a Gabriella Hurst bag. I love Gabrielle Hurst. I think this is like such a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful handbag. I love it so much. It's so spectacular how this handbag is made. I know this got very famous when Meghan Markle wore this bag and that was just like a boom. But I really wanted it in this nude color. I was waiting and one day finally became available. So I got it. I think it's so spectacular. I have one bag from Emporio Armani and this is super convenient. I very often wear it like this because it's very like pillowy so I can just grab it very easily. I wear this mainly during fashion month because it's so easy to pack but it also comes inside with a shoulder strap. It's very easy like to put things inside. I love these like top handle kind of vanity style bags. From Celine old Celine. I got one bag left. I used to have quite a few. It used to be my biggest kind of brand for bags. And now we got this beautiful belt bag. Let's see what's inside. Nada, which is very heavy. We have a belt bag in, I believe this is called June color, like sun. Oh my god, look how nice this goes. This would be like a perfect autumn look. And I really like this bag. I've worn it a lot and I never never ever was able to get rid of it. I still wear it, still love it, it still fits my laptop and I'm very grateful for it. From Saint Laurent I got two bags. I got this like massive big Lulu bag which used to be my favorite bag when traveling. Oh it's filled with stuff like the like papers but now I have so many other toes that I travel with. I still think this is a beautiful color and when it's filled with like stuff, it looks beautiful when you can see the actual shape of the bag. I have another bag from Saint Laurent. This is Sac de Jour. I think it's like a smaller size of Sac de Jour. I love this bag because with autumn outfits, it goes really well with my Fendi boots, with certain like olive or brown boots because it's not black, it's not brown, it's not navy. It's just like, you know, that neutral color that always works with everything. It would even work really nicely with this knit, right? From about like five or six Chloe bags, I dropped down to two. I have a large Nile in burgundy color. I think Nile is great, but it just fits basically nothing. This large might fit actually a few things. I do like it. I think it's a cute bag for Coachella. And the same goes for the next one, which is, I believe, called Hudson. I wear this one pretty much every year for Coachella. I think it's just such a perfect festival bag and I don't have many of these, so this is great. I just told my sister that in one of my bags I found a picture from 2015 and she was like, but did you find any money? And I was like, no. And she was like, mm. Like seriously, honestly, like what can I even say? On to the last brand that I want to show you 
which is Bottega Veneta by Daniel Lee, or the new Bottega. I have five handbags to show you. I love this brand. I think they've done amazing. And all of these bags that I've acquired, I've acquired from 2019 until now. The latest one in my collection and the one that you might have not already seen on YouTube, but you have seen on my Instagram, is the mini Arco bag. I love this bag so much. I know a lot of you have been asking me about it and yes, the Arco bag actually, it does come with a shoulder strap so it means that yes, this is like, come on, you're not gonna wear it like this, but it does come with a shoulder strap which is amazing. So, you know, you can actually, I was gonna say strap it on but that might come a bit like dirty. You can put it like on a shoulder strap and carry it like that as a little work bag. I think this is really beautiful. The one before Arco that I got was this shoulder pouch. So I got it in brown because I don't actually have any other brown bags. So you notice that I don't have any other brown bags, which is quite strange because growing up my mom used to love the brown bags, especially from Fendi. Actually do, I, I do. I have like a few Louis Vuitton bags, I guess, but I don't have any non-monogram brown bags, right? And the pouch is amazing and with the shoulder strap even more amazing because it was always a bit difficult like doing things with your hands when you got the pouch. And I would know because the first Bottega bag from the new Bottega Wave that I got is also the one that I worn the most. Okay, the pouch looks horrible when it's empty and I can prove that. It's like a little unsatisfying dumpling, right? But when it's filled with stuff, it's incredible, it's beautiful, I'll insert pictures. I love this color so much. It's like a beautiful off-white cream, like vanilla. Last bag I'm gonna show you is the cassette bag. I wish I waited and I got the padded cassette because this one now looks a little bit like a basic beep, but it's still a beautiful red color. This is called strawberry color and I really do like it. I'm not a massive fan of red all the time. You know, like on me, I don't think red is a beautiful color. But when I see handbags in red, I do like them and I do buy them. However, I have so many red bags now that I just don't wear all of them as much as I would want to. I already worn this bag so much that I'm very, very pleased with it. So this is probably, this and this were so far my most worn Bottega bags. And I really love them and I'm very happy with them. So yes, with that, I conclude my handbag collection video. I think, it's my me! With that, I conclude my handbag collection video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching this. If you did, please do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And um, let me know what was your favorite bag because I'm really curious to hear. Also, let me know what bag you think I need to introduce to my collection. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.